economy is an illusion. You can probably see I have a haircut now. Nice. So this is episode 4 of the most boring skills playlist i ever done. In today's video, we are going to learn a 90 degree hold, also known as the bend on planche. This is a good way to defy gravity and also kiss the floor in a very professional manner. This skill requires a big amount of shoulder strength, tricep strength and brain power. Yeah. In addition, you are one step closer to being able to do a 90 degree push up. There were three things I played around when learning the 90 degree hold. Leverage, measurable strength training, and the amount I'm leaning forward. Let's start with leverage. Make sure you can hold each variation for at least 5 seconds before moving on to the next level. Some of you might not be able to hold the very first variation. But you can get stronger to be able to hold this with just... You want to bend your arms and lean forward until your hair slightly touches the wall. Gradually move your hands away from the wall to make the movement harder. To be honest, you can learn the 90 degree hold with just this method. Sorry if I sound like a robot just now because I was really tired. Anyways, let's move on to the last thing I played around when learning the 90 degree hold. Now some of you gonna be like, hmm? How, what is measuring strength? Hmm... What? No, this is a scam. This is a scam! Yo guys, chill, hear me out. Adjusting the amount you're leaning forward might be a great way to learn the 90 degree hold, but I found dynamics work better than statics. Which is why we're gonna do some of... Yes, my favourite exercise, pseudo planche push-ups. Wait, this ain't right? Ah, there we go. First and foremost, you're gonna need a wall and some rulers. Then align all the rulers against the wall. Place your toes against the wall to avoid leaning backwards during the movement. Then you want to use the ruler to find a perfect position for your hands so that you can challenge yourself with 5 reps. Eventually you want to keep your hands closer towards the wall to make the pseudo planche push up more challenging. As time passed, your hands will be so close towards the wall that your legs started lifting up. This means you shouldn't rely on the wall anymore for your pseudo planche push ups. Now in this exercise, you want to lean forward as much as you can, especially when bending your arms so that your feet can fly off the ground like it's almost a 90 degree hold. If you use these three methods, you should be able to hold a bend on planche or a 90 degree hold in no time. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.